Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi folks, so as you can see I've played music practically all around the world and I carry an accordion in my RV. I'm a retired music teacher, I play lots of instruments but the accordion is very practical for the RV so how come I've learnt to play it? Well I'm sitting in my childhood bedroom at the moment visiting my dear old mum in the West Midlands in Great Britain and this old accordion, eight five years old, was given to me as a toy as a kid and it's been in bad condition now over the years so I decided to go and get it repaired so let's see where. Here we are folks at the Accordion Centre in Birmingham and um, this is the uh, boss Robert and his expert technician Andre who's from Poland. Of course I'm half Polish so I'm very happy to have a Polish expert on my grandfather's accordion but this was a really difficult job so Rob perhaps you'd like to just explain a bit about uh, the right. difficulties. Okay Alan. Well when this accordion came to us obviously it was very special to Alan and we we was trying to find ways to do it for the best possible price and everything. The, the keys were stuck, so it was playing all the time. There's various people that had a go at various methods of trying to get the keys to, to go down onto the pallets. But we eventually decided that the only way to do it was to take the old rod out, which was this, take that rod out where the pivots, and we had to put a new rod in, but we also had to bush all the individual um, pieces of wood with small bushes like this. So every single key had to have a little metal piece like this put into it. Wow. i show you. So that's the bush. Yeah, and for every single key. Every, we every we single made key. the bush to fit the new rod. Wow. Put a new stainless steel rod inside and fed all the bushes through and put new springs under the mm -hmm. keyboard. Repalleted it, complete job. Probably took us three days, I think, to do it. Wow. And um, that's it, it's uh, it's fully working now. Yeah. And uh, back to its original condition. Oh, wow. Well, so Plus all the inside work, obviously, was valves and tuning yeah. and... Well, I've just tried this out. I was very happy with the feel of it. Yeah. And perhaps Andre just give us a quick uh, tune. to think how old it is yeah. the accordion. it still sounds good 70 years i think yeah well Minimum. my granddad would have been proud mm. yeah but andrew um the way you got this rod that was seized in my accordion out was pretty drastic was and, dangerous, drastic yeah. and dangerous yeah but i did give you permission yes. so uh, you'll tell us what you did well what we used was an ordinary car battery 12 volt car battery which has probably an amperage of about 60 amps and we put that, shorted it through. This then grows red hot. Wow. So within minutes you have to take it off. But luckily, after it's been on just a few seconds sometimes, you can draw the rod out. 
mm -hmm. it comes out perfectly. Big problem is it's charred your wood. So the wood in the pivots are now charred. So that we then have to drill them oversize, make the little bushes and fit the little bushes. Yeah, like that's this. what you showed us before, yeah. And the new rod. And the new rod, yeah. The new rod. And this, these were all brass rods. Yeah. And you can see how modern they are. Wow. And there was smoke, wasn't there? A lot of smoke. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> glad I didn't see that. I would have panicked. I know. If it had been a new accordion, we'd have been very worried. Well, thank you, guys. It's uh, uh, it's uh, the accordion's really it's working, nice. It's yeah, working good. And I'll give it a quick uh, tryout in a little while. A bit of a jig. <laughs> Yeah, I think that'll do. <laughs> okay, cheers folks.